Away with him. Let him be crucified. Bewildered by Jesus' words, devastated by the chaos of the night's events, frightened by Judah's betrayal, filled with grief, the disciples were paralyzed by what followed. Although Jesus had tried to prepare them for what lay ahead, they did not, they could not understand. Now Peter, confused and troubled, recalls the past. I remember when I first met Jesus Standing on the seashore, there I met him. He said to me, hey, Peter, you'll never fish again. Come and travel with me, and we will fish for men. It seems like yesterday, like yesterday. One of the servant girls, seeing Peter in the courtyard, looked at him and said, You two were with Jesus the Nazarene. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you're talking about. Comes out in a boat upon an angry sea. I saw him walk on water and he passed by me. I said, May I come after? He said, come unto me, but then I started sinking, and Jesus rescued me. It seems like yesterday, like yesterday. Later another saw him and said to those who were there, this man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. And there was the time 5,000 folks were fed. With just two little fishes and five loaves of bread. He took that lunch and blessed it. For a while, a crowd of bystanders were again saying to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you too are a Galilean. But he began to curse and swear, I do not know this fellow you're talking about. Looking back on all our time together, there was a bond between no man could sever. I saw him heal the sick ones. He raised men from the dead, and lives were changed forever by just the words he said. It seems like yesterday, like yesterday. Peter remembered the words of the Lord. Uh, Jesus had told him, before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times.
and I'm longing for yesterday. My life seems all in vain, and I'm longing for yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs>